It's Paul Bertarelli reporting from the AUVSI Exponential Show in Dallas. There are what, about a billion drones here? But none are more interesting than this one, which perfects something that's been very difficult to do, an orthonopter or flapping wing design. But this one is no toy, it has an actual mission. The whole concept behind the Robird is that it actually mimics real life. So the idea behind it is that this is a peregrine falcon, and the peregrine falcon, especially for birds, is the most feared predator. So the whole idea behind it was instead of using a quadcopter or a rotor-style drone, they tend to habituate to those types of drones, even pyrotechnics. Most of the bird-scaring tactics that are used today are really, um, they're short-term. Uh, so the whole idea is, is that the Robirds are designed and used in such a way that birds don't habituate. They don't get used to it because it is their natural predator, so it's tying into their baser instincts. So it actually works by flapping its wings. It's an ornithopter style, and that lift, it works because it is so extremely light. So there's internal mechanical mechanisms inside of it that actually allow it to flap, and it actually glides just like a real bird would too. So um, it's controlled by an RC controller, and it is piloted, it's not autonomous. And the whole concept behind it is, again, that as being as, as real life as possible, but still being able to be controlled by humans. Okay, so the body design, it's, a, it's actually a, a nylon composite. And uh, in addition to that, the wings are just made of more of a polyfoam so that it stays extremely light, but extremely strong at the same time. So the battery on it is just a standard LiPo battery. Uh, the endurance is up to 12 to 15 minutes, but honestly, most of our flights only run in the five to 10 minute range. And that's really because by that time, the birds have left the area. So uh, from the mechanics, it is internal servo motors that are operated and have been uh, designed in such a proprietary way that it actually mimics real flapping wings as close as possible. Total weight operational is only 750 grams, so it's extremely light. And the operational endurance, again, about 15 minutes maximum. But at the same time, you're also able to operate it within, well, it's visual line of sight, but it can go up to two kilometers of range. However, with current regulations, we operate it usually within the 200 to 500 meter range. It has to flap at least two beats per second with its wings. It can go up to six beats per second with its wings, uh, but it does also glide. And when it's in glide mode, it does get enough lift to keep it in the air, just like a real bird. Use on airports has always been a, a real target of Clear Flight Solutions and Area Analytics on this, uh, and it is actually used to reduce bird strike preventions at airports. So it becomes another tool in the arsenal of the wildlife teams. Um, we just recently received approval and uh, signed a contract with Edmonton International Airport up in Canada, and uh, we're about to start daily operations of actually fully integrated UAV services. So the roe bird, but on top of that, all other types of drones for surveying aerial images imagery, 3D modeling, and, uh, and uh, well, that one-stop shop approach. And you can find out uh, more information by reaching us at www.ariumanalytics.com.